So welcome to this kids and comedy show. Uh, this is our Into the Wild show. All right. <laughs> Last year, right, I was convinced to go out on St. Patrick's Day. And, you know, it's funny because I never pictured hell being so green. <laughs> like, I just first wanted to start with some impressions, some St. Patrick's Day impressions. Um, okay, so this first impression is um, <clears throat> everyone on my subway this morning and yesterday. So that's, that's everyone on my subway this morning and yesterday. Uh, this next impression is <laughs> like like they're just at a bird party. Like, hey, Frank, check out that emu. Oh my god! Oh my god! And you're all from which school? Bronx Science. Bronx Science. Um, I don't know much about Bronx Science. All I know is I once went to a production of West Side Story. Yeah. Were you in that? Well, here's the thing about West Side Story, is uh, it's, made, it's made up of two gangs, right? And the gangs are supposed to be vaguely intimidating. <laughs> so Bronx Science didn't exactly nail that. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we need the gym teacher over, because now I have blood coming out of my face. And like, this is the one time in history a gym teacher has been important to society, right? Somebody has been hurt. He needs to actually do something now, right? He's never done anything before. So he puts down his Sports Illustrated magazine, right? Slaps on his extra pair of sweatpants and he runs over. Now, you and I have met before. Do you remember that? Yes. Uh, I, what I always say when I meet you is, you are the most adorable person I have ever seen. <laughs> the hardest part about the bar mitzvah is learning Hebrew because it's the weirdest language ever. It's written backwards and essentially made up of scribbles and it sounds like it was written by aliens. Truach! You can continue there. Tiach! Pop quiz, which was Klingon? When we looked what was happening, my little brother and my little sister had picked up knives and all these dangerous utensils and we're playing with them. You leave the ship and you go explore places. You, you go look at the, the thousand year old iceberg. But here's my feeling on it. It's, if, you're really, if you really want to see ice melt that badly, you just open up your freezer door and pull up a chair. <laughs> Pity laughter. I'll take it, but... <laughs> what do you call something that's brown and sticky? <laughs> it's a stick! <laughs> yeah. That was awesome. You did a great job. Thank heavens it was a stick. <laughs> 